Okay, boys and girls, this is our brand new painting for our art next art talk. The first thing we're going to do is use our eyes, our sense of sight, and we're going to see what we notice in the picture. There's lots of details in this picture, so I want you to use your thinking and use your eyes and we'll give it 30 seconds. Remember, when we're noticing, it's quiet so that we can really use our sense of sight, not our sense of hearing. Okie dokie. Ready? I've always been really passionate about bringing arts education into my classroom, especially for my visual learners. Um, in all age levels, there's children who learn better visually. However, in kindergarten, that visual learning is a very strong piece. And so whenever I can learn about a new opportunity to bring to my students that will help encourage them as visual learners, I always want to grasp onto that. Okay. What do you notice? Colin? There's some water right here. Okay, what else can we when find? When you're starting from the beginning and you use those same three prompts, the three prompts are what do you notice, what do you see that makes you say that, or what do you see that makes you think that, and what else can we find? And by staying to those three main prompts, it helps to give the session structure. So even in the very beginning when the students are just learning how to share their ideas in this format, by keeping those three standard phrases. Um, it helps to train them and helps them understand how the process will go. It also helps to make sure that they're in a space that they're familiar and comfortable with. Sometimes when we do the activity, if they're in the art room with the smart board, they do that sometimes in art uh, as well. It's an environment that is a little bit different to them. So in this, with using the smart board with it, it adds another level because when they come up to show their notice things, they can touch the smart board and highlight certain areas. Loud! What do you see that makes you think they could be clouds? Oh, Brady thinks that there's dark clouds here, like maybe it's going to rain. What else can we and find, when Joey? our children in kindergarten come into our classroom, the basic skills that they have are connected to their oral language and their visual learning. And so this program carries them through and it meets, it, it, it meets directly to the strengths that they already have coming into the classroom and it speaks to their basic skills. There's a lot of different elements to it. There's problem solving, there's um, connections that they make, there's predicting and wonderings, things like that that are built into it too. So it's a very simple presentation with those three basic simple prompts that we use, but as the levels and as the layers kind of develop, you see more and more of how they're moving up through their higher level thinking. So this opportunity lets everyone's ideas be respected. Um, it's, it's really great for all students, no matter what their readiness level is with reading or writing, they all know how to, they all know how to talk. They all love to share their ideas and they all can use their visual skills and they all can make noticings. Some of the children in the classroom who have higher level thinking are able to notice things in the picture and take different different paths from what they notice in the picture. And some students who maybe don't have those higher level thinking skills yet are still able to appreciate the color in the picture. And they're still able to appreciate the basic elements. They might not make the higher level thinking, you know, application skills about what they're seeing, but they're still able to be a part of the discussion and still be able to enjoy being a part of the class family and feel valued for their ideas. So in this case, we were integrating it into the living and non-living science concepts that we've been working on, animal habitats. We've been working on earth materials. Okay. So talking about weather as well, which was a piece that was in this um, as well. And then before this, our social studies unit was on communities and different sorts of communities. So country communities, city communities. And so with this piece as well, the side where they saw the elements of people living with the houses and the smoke. So that's helpful to tie it in as well. Um, we're really working on having them being able to verbalize their thinking first before they sit down to write um, on paper and write their story. So by developing their oral language through programs like this, we're able to give them those higher level thinking skills that they need. And it also helps them in their reading to make meaning from the stories that they read by. My role during this is to be the facilitator of the discussion and we've developed a classroom culture where 
everyone's ideas are welcome and we work on connecting our ideas to each other and the children will use the connection sign like this and so as the classroom facilitator I'll help them see how their idea connects to an idea someone else said. So sometimes we'll do it where we'll sit in a big circle as well and that's helpful so that they can focus on the person who's speaking. Um, that's also why we talk about taking turns coming up to the board and waiting until I call on you and invite you to come on up because they'll be very eager and they'll want to come up on their own. Um, that's also why we use the pointer so that they can see whose turn it is to talk. So it's, it's helping them learn those basic communication skills that are important later on in their life. And when they learn through discussions and programs that encourage oral language like this, it helps the classroom culture so that later on when they're having class discussions they understand the process of taking turns to speak. At this young age they're still developing their social skills and learning how to build off of each other's ideas. They're very egocentric at this age and so it helps them when we're all looking at the same piece of art together and so it helps them to see how all of their thinking is connected even though they each come to the table to the discussion with their own prior knowledge and experience we call it their schema and we can show them how their individual schema connect with each other through this one piece of artwork that we're looking at. And it's really exciting to see how even these young children are able to share their ideas and to be as engaged and involved in the discussion even at a young age.